member for Livingston McLeod. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And good afternoon, good afternoon all. Today I first want to thank the Minister and the Premier for their work to keep all Albertans informed on the terrible fires that have struck Fort McMurray. I want to pass on my thanks from the Leader of the Official Opposition, the Member for Fort McMurray Conklin, and the Member for Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo for the full cooperation from the Government as they continue their work in Fort McMurray to help residents. Our entire caucus remain dedicated to monitoring the situation and helping in any way that we can. I would like to echo comments made already today to all Albertans. The very best way to offer assistance at this time is through cash donations to the Red Cross. Mr. Speaker, words cannot express our feelings of total devastation. Like all Albertans, we watched horrified as the fires crossed into the city borders yesterday afternoon. This fire has torn up tens of thousands of families from their homes. The weight of the challenges ahead are extraordinary. I ask for all Albertans' thoughts and prayers to be with those whose lives have been forever changed. We ask for all Albertans to pass their thoughts and prayers on for the safety of all responders. We urge, pardon me, we urge anyone still in the city to evacuate, but stay safe. Today's pain is a pain Albertans have too often experienced over the past several years. It was just three years ago when the banks of the rivers in southern Alberta burst, forcing many to evacuate their homes as they saw everything they owned submerge under the angry waters. Like many others in this House, I saw the anxiety, worry and sadness this put on all those impacted. It's the same challenges we saw after the fires in Slave Lake in 2011. But during these times of tremendous difficulties, we also saw a spark of character of Alberta. Alberta did not become the great province it did today without facing adversity. Our people are resilient, compassionate and caring. Albertans have already shown this character in spades. Energy companies have opened their camps. Homes from Lac La Biche to Bonneville to here in Edmonton are already opening their doors. The people of Fort McMurray are a strong people. We know Albertans will band together. We know we will rebuild. It is that spirit that made our province the best place in the world. As cowgirl poet Doris Daly once put it, we knew drought, we knew fire and heartache, we knew fat and we knew bone. But we were silver lining people and we never ride alone. Thank you very much.